Hi, you're watching Anyverse English. Giant Pain questioned the Chuyun sect. Ah, uh, why does my head hurt so much? Lin Bei's voice wavered as he slowly raised his head. However, his vision remained blurry, his eyes squinting to focus. Gradually, clarity seeped into his surroundings, revealing his master, Emo Ling Yun, kneeling before him. Ling Bei, Lin called out, Master, why did you surrender? Despite the formidable strength of the Yao Tian sect, Emo Ling Yun countered, If we unite with unwavering resolve, we shall never be defeated. Emo Ling Yun asked, Have you considered the consequences if we were to lose? Would anyone from our sect survive? I won't stake the future of our sect on such a slim hope. Lin Bei retorted passionately, I am willing to fight and die for the sect. Master, the Chuan sect cannot surrender. Emo Ling Yun's response was firm, You may be willing to die, but not the sect. Lin Bei frowned at the declaration. What? In the next breath, Emo Ling Yun commanded, Xie Ping Chiu, this is Lin Bei. Take him away. We must secure the survival of the Chu Yun sect at any cost. Xie Ping Chiu remarked, having five heavenly level constitutions within one body, reaching the pinnacle of the open realm at the age of 16, and possessing strength comparable to that of your sect master. You even have the power to contend with me. Truly, a once in a century genius. Unfortunately, these five constitutions hinder each other within your body, preventing you from unleashing your full power. I will make the best use of your constitution. Enraged, Lin Bei shouted, What? Are you trying to take my constitution? With those words, he charged forward with his sword, declaring, You won't succeed. Suddenly, pain erupted in his heart, and blood spurted from his mouth. Ah! In the next moment, he collapsed to the ground. Confused, he wondered, I've lost my power. How could this happen? Xie Ping Chiu explained, Young man, the world is not as simple as you think. For a warrior, talent is never the most crucial factor. What matters is the heart of the individual. At that moment, a girl arrived and said, Lin Bei, stop struggling. With your sacrifice, the entire Chu Yun sect can survive. She was Mo Ying, the daughter of the sect master. You should consider yourself honored. Ling Bei shouted, that healing pill you gave me earlier. It was poisoned. You treacherous woman. You dare to harm me. Mo Ying squatted down and replied, Lin Bei, you are so talented that I had to take measures. Otherwise, if you were to die due to an explosion, the rare talent of the five constitutions would go to waste, and there would be no future for the Chuyun sect. Lin Bei said, You. Suddenly, more blood dripped from his mouth. Thunder struck from the heavens as the disaster unfolded. Xie Ping Chiu moved forward, saying, Enough. No more idle talk. First, let's secure the heavenly level constitutions. With that said, he raised his hand, and a powerful aura surged around it, slowly beginning to absorb Lin Bei's constitutional powers. In a matter of seconds, Lin Bei's body twitched. Xie Ping Chiu exclaimed with a sinister smile, the endless purgatory body, the nine skies extreme sword body, the supreme profound chi body, the annihilation blood demon body, and the release heaven devil thunder body. With these five heavenly level constitutions, a person can become an unparalleled genius. My five children, all of them have boundless futures. If they are recruited by major powers, they can become powerful figures in their own right. Wouldn't my CF family be remembered for generations to come? Perhaps even become the number one family throughout eternity. By then, our descendants would have nothing to worry about. We have obtained the five heavenly level constitutions. All members of the Yao Dian sect are to leave and follow me. Emo Ling Yun, if you want me to give the Chu Yun sect a way out, I will do so. Your daughter can marry my youngest son, and you can continue to be the sect master of the Chuyun sect. With that, Emo Ling Yun and other disciples bowed their heads to the ground and respectfully bid farewell. All members of the Chuyun sect bid farewell to Master Xie. As Xie Ping Chiu departed, rain started to fall from the clouds. Lin Bei laughed loudly, ha ha. Ha ha. Old dog, I risked my life for the Chuyun sect without expecting anything in return, and yet you treat me like this. Emo Ling Yun replied sternly, I have invested significant resources in your cultivation within the Chuyun sect, even treating you as my disciple. Now is the time for you to dedicate yourself to the sect. Furthermore, sacrificing only you in exchange for the survival of the Chuyun sect. You can rest in peace with a smile. With that said, he slammed his foot on Lin Bei's face. Lin Bei gave him a cold look and struggled to speak. You. Shameless old dog. Then, 
Imo Ling Yun turned and commanded. Lin Bei sacrificed himself willingly to save the Chuyun sect. All members of the Chuyun sect bow, as every disciple bowed to him. Imo Ling interjected, Don't blame me. If you want to blame someone, blame yourself for being so foolish. With those words, she charged forward and delivered a powerful kick that sent him flying out of the sect. As he lay sprawled on the ground, water splashing around him, Lin Bei pondered, What kind of world is this? I refuse to accept it. I hate it. Suddenly, a vision appeared in his mind, where God said, The world is like a chessboard, with sentient beings as chess pieces. Regardless of the deception, love, hatred, and grudges in the world, they are nothing more than pieces intertwining and colliding within predetermined rules. What can you do if the heavens and earth are heartless? The voice continued. Lin Bei answered defiantly, If the heavens and earth are heartless, I shall overturn them with a single thought. With that declaration, his body surged with tremendous power. The next day, as the clouds cleared and the sun's rays directly fell upon him, Lin Bei woke up. Instantly, he stood up and marveled, I'm still alive? Even if I miraculously survived, my martial talent is lost. What's the difference between me and a useless person? If only I could possess another physique, even the lowest tier physique, I would have hoped. But how could that be possible? Awakening five heavenly grade physiques is already a miracle among miracles. How could I awaken a sixth one? As he placed his hand on his chest, he felt something unusual. What's this? Suddenly, a huge flash of light aura emanated from his chest, and in the next moment, he was teleported. Before him stood six huge swords, each emitting a different burning light. Upon witnessing this scene, Lin Bei wondered, What? What is this? Could it be that these five stone pillars represent the five physiques I had before? Then what is this sixth restrained pillar? As Lin Bei moved forward and placed his hand on the sixth pillar, the restraining force instantly shattered, and the pillar flashed, displaying the primordial chaos body. Observing the revelation, Lin Bei exclaimed, I understand now. It turns out that I've always had a sixth physique. It's just that this primordial chaos body was suppressed by the previous five united physiques. Now that the five physiques have been stripped away, it has helped me awaken this primordial chaos body. At that moment, God's voice echoed, Child, don't forget what you have spoken. If heaven and earth are heartless, then you shall overturn them with a single thought. Internally, Lin Bei realized, Indeed, everything that just happened was not an illusion. It truly exists. This is the strongest power sealed within me. It can contain countless principles, be close to the laws of heaven, and its cultivation can be unparalleled against all laws, suppressing any destiny. With such a powerful physique, I have the opportunity to retrain and step back into the path of martial arts. Moreover, I can become stronger than ever before. The world is filled with the aura of heaven and earth. For humans to cultivate the martial path, they must open the meridians within their bodies to induce internal training of the physical body, Lin Bei reflected. This is the first great realm of martial arts, known as the Opening Realm. Previously, it took me a whole ten years to reach the peak of the Opening Realm. I wonder how long it will take now. In the next moment, his whole body surged with immense power, causing a huge explosion. A few minutes later, as Lin Bei examined himself, he exclaimed, In the blink of an eye, all nine meridian points have opened. In an instant, I have reached the peak of the Opening Realm, equivalent to ten years of arduous training. Such a formidable physique. Could it be the tenth one, the heavenly gate? Suddenly, he realized, I learned from books before that aside from the usual nine meridians in the human body, there is an extremely difficult to open heavenly gate meridian. Because the process of opening it is extremely dangerous, it is generally abandoned by martial artists. However, once the heavenly gate is opened, the efficiency of drawing in chi will greatly increase, even surpassing the sum of the previous nine meridians. The path of my cultivation is becoming faster one step at a time. Lin Bei continued, Now that I have obtained the miraculous primordial chaos body and opened the heavenly gate meridian, my cultivation speed will be unrivaled. With that thought, he raised his hand and made a powerful punch on the big rock. The punch was so forceful that the rock shattered into multiple pieces, creating a huge hole in the ground. Witnessing his powers, Lin Bei's mouth curled up. Emo Ling Yun from the Chuan sect, Yao Tian sect. Emo Ing, Xie Pingqiu, all of your days are numbered. That old dog Emo Ling Yun has already reached the Pulse Expansion Realm. I won't be able to seek revenge against him while I'm still at the peak of the Opening Realm. For now, 
I must bide my time. Once I reach the Pulse Expansion Realm, I'll seek my revenge. Later, Lin Bei stepped into a small village. As soon as the people saw him, their expression suddenly changed, and instantly, everybody ran. An old man approached from behind and asked cautiously, May I, may I ask if there's something you need? Lin Bei heard him and pondered, Why are the people here so afraid of me? Then he turned and replied, Old man, please don't be afraid. I just want to stay in the village for a night. Unexpectedly, the old man kneeled and pleaded with tears in his eyes, Please, spare us, sir. Our village truly has no money. Upon hearing that, Lin Bei was shocked. What? Later, at the old village chief's house, the old man explained, The village is too poor and can only entertain you once. I hope you won't be offended. Lin Bei eyed the fishes and inquired, Old man, what did the Chuyin sect do to you to make you so poor? The old man replied with a heavy sigh, Alas. Our village was originally quite wealthy, but the Chuyin sect's annual taxes gradually increased until we couldn't afford it. Especially in the past two years, the Chuyin sect has demanded a one-star monster crystal core be paid every month. As a result, the young people in the village have no choice but to hunt monsters day and night. Up to now, there are less than 20 healthy young people in the village. Lin Bei slammed his hand on the table in anger and gritted his teeth, shameless. The old man continued, not only that. The surrounding villages, which are much bigger, are even worse off than us. Not only do they have to pay the monster crystal core, but even the beautiful girls in the village will be kidnapped by the Chuyun sect. Upon hearing that, Lin Bei became furious and pondered, since I joined the Chuyun sect, I have never left the mountain. I studied martial arts with all my heart, but I never imagined that the Chuyun sect would be so despicable, shameless, and filthy. Then he asked, by the way, old man, what year and day is it now? The old man answered, It's April of the Tianwu year now. Lin Bei was shocked. Unexpectedly, I was in a coma for a month at the foot of the mountain. Then the old man urged, Eat quickly. Have a rest after eating, and leave this unpeaceful place as soon as possible. Lin Bei pondered, Chuyun sect. The next day, outside Chuyun village, the disciples of the Chuyun sect were heading to the village. The leading person exclaimed, Tomorrow is the wedding day of junior sister Mo Ng. Unexpectedly, we hunted and killed a two-star monster today. If we take this as a gift, Master will be extremely happy. The overweight person beside him nodded. Good. The two-star monster is comparable to the pinnacle of the Enlightenment realm. If we hadn't been lucky, this monster would have just given birth and been in a weak state, so we wouldn't have taken advantage of it. Another disciple interrupted, a monster at the pinnacle of the Enlightenment realm. If it were in its heyday, apart from the sect leader, only the elder senior brother in our Chuyin sect would be able to kill it. Suddenly, at that moment, the leading person slapped him and asked, What did you say? The disciple replied, Senior brother, I said the wrong thing. Simultaneously, he contemplated, Damn it, why did I forget this? Ever since senior brother Lin Bei voluntarily sacrificed his life in exchange for peace in the Chuyun sect, his name could no longer be mentioned. The leading one urged, Let's go to the village to have a rest first, then return to the sect. With that said, the three entered the village. Meanwhile, Lin Bei was sleeping peacefully. Suddenly, his sleep was interrupted as he sensed something outside. Something happened. In the next moment, he stood up, opened the gate, and walked outside. Outside, he witnessed the disciples of the Chuyun sect assaulting the old man and his granddaughter. Tang Su asked, I am a disciple of the Chuyun sect, so you'll just give me this. Are you humiliating me? The old man replied, We, we are really. We have no food. Witnessing that, Lin Bei grew furious and said, Tang Su, you deserve to die. Tang Su turned and shouted, Who? Come out for me. Suddenly, he trembled as he spotted Lin Bei, eldest senior brother. The other disciples frowned and pondered, Didn't the eldest senior brother die? Lin Bei shouted, Tang Su, I thought you had a pure and good character but I didn't expect. You were such a beast. Tang Su was still in shock, wondering, what's going on? Wasn't he kicked off the cliff by Junior Sister? How can he still be alive when he has lost all cultivation? It's impossible. Then he said casually, it turns out to be you, Lin Bei. I didn't expect that you were really lucky. You won't die. Only, you are just a useless person now. What qualifications do you have to stand in front of me and speak? Kneel for me. I can still think of letting you go for the sake of being in the same sect. 
In the next moment, Lin Bei slammed his hand on Tang Su's face, making him fall to the ground. The other disciples exclaimed, Senior Brother Tang Su. Lin Bei urged the others, help them inside to rest first. The others took them inside and cautioned, Village Chief, be careful. Outside, Tang Su stood up, grabbed his face, and said, Impossible. Aren't you a useless person? How? Lin Bei called out to him, Tang Su, get closer. With that said, he kicked him in the chest, causing blood to spurt from his mouth. Then, Lin Bei moved forward and said, Go to hell. Tang Su shouted, No, I don't accept it. Upon hearing that, Lin Bei looked at him, instantly backing off as a huge, tremendous aura surged around Tang Su's body. Tang Su, he roared, Ever since you entered the sect, you have always suppressed me. Now, you want to step on me? I don't accept it. With a lion spirit, Tang Su charged forward, shouting, Yellow level low grade lion heart fist. Lin Bei observed him and sneered, Humph, just a little trick. And the next moment, he slammed his leg into Tang Su's face, sending him flying several meters away. It's embarrassing for you to use martial arts of such a low grade level like this, Lin Bei mocked. Tang Su raised his head and shouted, Lin Bei, what will happen if you kill me? You will always be the abandoned son of the Chu insect. Even if your cultivation level is restored, what kind of storm can you cause? Without the support of your innate physique, how can you resist my Chu insect? You don't know yet. Your five talents have been given to five biological sons by the Master Yotian sect. Now, they have reached the top level of strength and will be on the rise from now on. And your favorite junior sister, Mo Ying, will marry Yotian sect CFA tomorrow. You, Lin Bei, are just a joke. Ha ha ha. Upon hearing those insults, Lin Bei was triggered. With a powerful attack, he shattered everything around him, causing a huge explosion. Lin Bei scoffed, you still talk as much nonsense as ever. Then his attention shifted to the other disciples. The other disciples instantly kneeled and begged, Senior brother, please let us go. Lin Bei replied sternly, I am no longer your senior brother. Now, I ask, and you answer. If there was even a trace of hesitation, you would meet the same fate as Tang Su. The disciples, their voices trembling with fear, replied, We will surely answer all your questions. Lin Bei nodded. Very good. Tell me, what significant events happened to the Chujin sect and Yao Dian sect in the month I was absent? Remember, be detailed. The overweight disciple raised his head and answered, stuttering, I, I'll say it. Since, oh no, since you voluntarily sacrificed yourself in exchange for the peace of the Chuyun sect, the sect leader will marry junior sister Mo Ying to the youngest son of the Yao Dian sect leader. The big wedding will be tomorrow. Lin Bei interrupted impatiently, I already know this. Tell me something I don't know. The disciple gulped and continued, Yes, yes. The other four sons of the Yao Dian sect leader were entered into the top sects, the Burning Sun sect, the Endless Sword sect, Backwaters Hall, and Heavenly Blade sect. As for CFA, the youngest son of the Yao Dian sect leader, he joined the Demon Sealing Hall. Upon hearing that, Lin Bei pondered, Chu Yun sect is just a small sect, located in a corner of the eastern border. But these top sects are like overlords on the entire continent. He listed them, the Burning Sun sect, the Endless Swords sect, the Heavenly Blade sect, and Backwaters Hall. As for the Demon Sealing Hall, I once heard Mo Ling Yun mention it. Just a random elder in the hall has the cultivation level of the fifth level of the Pulse Extension Realm. And there are dozens of elders in the Demon Sealing Hall. The disciple suggested, Senior brother, if you want to seek revenge, I advise you to give up. Xie Ping Shou's four sons have left the sect. Although CFA is still there, within a month his cultivation had reached the first level of the Pulse Extension Realm. Moreover, the Demon Sealing Hall also sent an elder to preside over CFA's wedding. Lin Bei gritted his teeth, hateful. Then he said, I won't kill you. The disciples bowed and expressed their gratitude. Thank you, senior brother. Lin Bei said firmly, but I will erase your memory. With that said, he used his powers to erase their memories and urged them to leave. As they departed, he looked at the hunted demon. There is a certain probability that a demon core will be born in the body of the two-star demon beast. If it can be refined, it may be possible to break through to the Pulse Extension Realm. But still, it's no match for the Elder of the Demon Sealing Hall. It seems that the matter of revenge needs to be considered in the long run. Then he entered the room and addressed everyone. We can't stay here anymore. 
Everyone is going to have a night's rest. Tomorrow, I will take you away from here and find another way out. Later, he took the demon beast with him into the jungle. Placing his hand on it, he confirmed. Sure enough, there is a demon core. Just as he was about to act, something unusual happened with the demon beast. Observing, Lin Bei wondered. What? Not dead yet? Got something. Then he slammed his hand on it, causing a light aura to emerge from its body, and suddenly a small figure emerged. Lin Bei wondered, is this the child of a monster? But this little guy. Suddenly, at that moment, a flash of light appeared from the sky and directly surged into that little life. Upon witnessing that unexpected moment, Lin Bei wondered, how could this newly born monster have such terrifying power? Could it be a mutated monster? Monsters evolve from animals that absorb the essence of the sun and moon, he mused. As for magical beasts, it seems that they are nurtured by heaven and earth. Among the millions of monsters, there is a chance that one magical beast will be born. Every magical beast can reach three stars right after birth, its cultivation level comparable to the peak of the pulse extension realm. Ha ha ha, God helps me. A three-star magical beast, with this little guy to help. He flicked his finger and poured the blood into his mouth. Then he said, little thing, you, you drained me. The little chick sounded, choo-choo-choo-choo, and Lin Bei wondered, damn, what's going on? Lin Bei asked, little guy, what's wrong with you? Unexpectedly, the little chick slapped him and thought, why is it always me who gets hurt? I just want to practice wholeheartedly, but I'm betrayed by my Taoist companions and my body and my Tao disappear. I was made into a master servant contract. I don't accept it. I don't accept it. I finally found a chance to seize the body, but was beaten by this brat. Lin Bei sneered, this magical beast. Could it be that it is mentally immature due to premature birth? As the little chick heard him, it bit his arm and exclaimed, Quack, quack, quack. You're mentally immature. Your whole family is mentally immature. Feeling the pain, Lin Bei pushed the little chick away. Ow, ow, ow. Phew, it hurts. The little chick fell to the ground and pondered, This is the counterattack power of the holy bloodline. Lin Bei moved forward and asked, what happened? The little chick, now furious, contemplated, the body I took away was only a three-star monster. If I couldn't resist it, I would have no hope of revenge for the rest of my life. I must resist. Suddenly, his body trembled. Just a drop of blood caused this body to directly break through from three-star to four-star. The upgraded bloodline is terrifying. If I could possess such a heaven-defying bloodline talent in my previous life, I wouldn't stop at the Emperor's realm. Alas, with this guy here, my revenge is in sight. Lin Bei grabbed the little chick and placed it on his hand, patting its head. Little one, you will depend on me for life from now on, but you can't bite me again, do you understand? The little chick pondered for a moment. Forget it. I'm living under someone else's roof. I have to. Wait for me to use your blood to restore my cultivation. I will kill you first. Then, Lin Bei said, seeing how you look like this, I'll call you Xiao Jin from now on. Humph. Xiao Jin, I want to refine this demon core. You protect me. With that said, he raised his hand on the demon beast and used his powers. In a few seconds, a small pearl emerged. Lin Bei sneered, here we go. Instantly, he sat on the ground and began his cultivation. Meanwhile, Xiao Jin was thinking, damn it. It's inhumane to ask me, a person who has just broken out of their shell, to protect you. Then a huge aura surged around that pearl which was slowly soaked by Lin Bei. Xiao Jin observed and thought, for an ordinary warrior at the peak of the Enlightenment realm to refine a two-star demon core, it would take at least ten days. This guy was able to refine it in just one stick of incense. I'm envious. Suddenly, lightning flashes emerged from his body, and he instantly absorbed all the aura of that pearl emanating a huge pressure. Xiao Jin was suppressed by it, such a strong momentum. And then a huge explosion occurred at that place. As the smoke disappeared, Xiao Jin witnessed Lin Bei stepping forward and he said, a two-star demon core directly allowed me to successfully break through the Enlightenment realm and reach the first level of the Pulse Extension realm. Xiao Jin, I succeeded. Xiao Jin was amazed, thinking this body, so delicious. Sucking. Then Lin Bei looked at the peak and said, CFA, Mo Ing, here I come. The following day at Chu Wen sect, Mo Ing and Mo Ling Yun warmly greeted their guests. Mo Ling Yun turned to Mo Ing with a smile and said, Ha ha ha. 
Inger, as you marry CFA, ensure you serve him well and keep him happy. M.O. Ng nodded, replying, Father, I understand. M.O. Ling Yun, twirling his mustache, continued, CFA has recently become a core disciple of the Demon Sealing Hall. Your marriage marks a significant turn for our Chuan sect. As they conversed, two figures approached from the air, surprising M.O. Ling Yun. He respectfully greeted them, Elder Rao, it's an honor. Elder Rao Yu, the esteemed leader of the Demon Sealing Hall, responded warmly, Sect Leader M.O., you are most welcome. Let us consider ourselves one family from now on. Accompanying Elder Rao was CFA, a disciple of the Demon Sealing Hall. Upon meeting M.O. Ng, they exchanged bright smiles. CFA suggested, shall we begin soon? It's getting late. Elder Rao intervened, advising, fair, patience. Let us commence when everyone has arrived. CFA nodded in agreement. Ryu turned to M.O. Ling Yun, urging him, Sect Master M.O., let us proceed. M.O. Ling Yun affirmed, yes, indeed. As the bride and groom stepped outside, guests began presenting their gifts. The Fanio sect offered a two-star demon core to congratulate Mr. Xie and Miss M.O. on their wedding. The Iron Fist sect presented a two-star physical training pill, while the Black Bear sect gifted a two-star Black Bear sword. Witnessing this, M.O. Ling Yun became furious, questioning, how could these sects suddenly show such courtesy? Amidst the gathering crowd, Lin Bei, adorned in different attire, observed the scene with a wry smile, noting, ha ha. Looks like there's quite a generous showing of gifts. Meanwhile, Xiao Jin, feeling somewhat indifferent, mused, is this fellow here to stir up trouble? Well, there's only one person around here at the fifth level of the pulse extension realm with any real skill. Mo Ling Yun addressed the attendees, expressing gratitude for their presence at his daughter's wedding to young Master Xie. He declared, now, let the wedding officially commence. CFA called out to M.O. Ng, prompting her response, Yes. Suddenly, Lin Bei stepped forward, shouting, Stop. Surprised, M.O. Ling Yun inquired, My friend, what is the matter? Lin Bei replied confidently, I have yet to present my grand gift. M.O. Ling Yun smiled, curious, Oh, pray tell, what might it be? Lin Bei retorted, It's your heads I've come for. With those words, he tore off his disguise, revealing his true identity. The onlookers frowned as they recognized him, murmuring, Isn't that Lin Bei from the Chudan sect? Mo Ling Yun trembled, his mind racing, You. Has his cultivation level recovered? How could he have reached the peak of the Enlightenment realm in just one month? What is happening here? At the same time, Mo Ling found herself incredulous, thinking, This can't be real. He was poisoned, his talents were stolen, and he fell from a cliff. How is he still alive? How is he standing here? Advancing boldly, Lin Bei declared, Today marks the end for you. CFA chuckled arrogantly, Ha ha, such audacity. How dare you utter such threats? However, Mo Ng cautioned him, CFA, be careful. CFA scoffed, he's lost his former prowess. Even if he's managed to recover some cultivation this month, how can he possibly match me? Mo Ng interjected, but he, CFA, growing impatient, snapped, What? Do you doubt my abilities? Do you think I'll lose to him? Mo Ng reassured him, I meant no disrespect. CFA nodded, satisfied, and stepped forward, asserting, Good, that's settled then. Lin Bei, I acknowledge your exceptional talent, deemed unparalleled from ancient times to the present, with your possession of the five heavenly physiques, CFA admitted, his tone laced with disdain. Whatever opportunity you've stumbled upon to embolden you to come here today is inconsequential. I will ensure your demise is a gruesome one. Lin Bei countered confidently, it appears your cultivation has indeed improved significantly this month. However, if you had encountered me in the past, you wouldn't have even been able to complete a sentence. Ignoring Lin Bei's remark, CFA stated, I have no interest in conversing with you. Over the past month, my cultivation has reached the first level of the pulse extension realm. You, once formidable, are now no match for me. Are you prepared to meet your end? Lin Bei, undeterred, made a bold declaration, I am more than ready to fulfill my destiny. Then, addressing the crowd, Lin Bei proclaimed, Today, although a joyous occasion, I must exhibit my resolve. If we do not deal with him now, where is the honor of the Chuyun sect? Where is the dignity of the Yao Dian sect? Where is the prestige of my demon sealing hall? Today, before all present, I will personally end this. Upon witnessing the unfolding scene, the onlookers were left bewildered, 
murmuring amongst themselves, what is happening? Why is it so difficult to comprehend? Another individual chimed in, Lin Bei once stood at the pinnacle of the Enlightenment realm, rivaling even Imo Lingyun. But now, CFA has ascended to mastery of the Pulse Expansion realm, not to mention Elder Ryu from the Demon Ceiling Hall. Is Lin Bei simply courting death? Meanwhile, Rao Yun contemplated, Lin Bei has lost all his talents. Why would he risk coming here? He seems confident. There must be a significant plot behind this. I'll remain silent for now and observe. On the other hand, CFA grew increasingly furious, bellowing, Lin Bei, face your death. The onlookers gasped in awe as CFA unleashed the power of his boundless purgatory body, heavenly physique. They remarked, such a formidable surge of murderous intent. Despite only being at the first level of the pulse extension realm, it rivals that of the second level. CFA charged forward with a devastating blow, executing his top-grade yellow-level killing punch. Lin Bei, however, remained unfazed, a fierce grin adorning his face as he made no move. The force of CFA's attack caused a tremendous explosion. As the dust settled, CFA sneered, fool. Observing from a distance, Mo Ling Yun speculated, it appears Lin Bei is merely putting on a facade of mystery. As the smoke dissipated, CFA's eyes widened in disbelief as he beheld Lin Bei, completely unscathed. Lin Bei taunted, is the boundless purgatory body only capable of this level of power in your hands? The primordial chaotic body, akin to the second level of the pulse extension realm, is merely an itch to me. CFA frowned, stuttering, impossible, how could you? With a smirk, Lin Bei declared, now it's my turn. With a burst of lightning speed, he appeared before CFA in an instant. Charging his hand with formidable energy, Lin Bei delivered a devastating blow that shattered CFA from within. Gasping in agony, CFA managed to croak, you, you're in the pulse extension realm. Moments later, he collapsed, blood spewing from his mouth. Lin Bei advanced, crushing CFA's head underfoot, disdainfully remarking, CFA, you disappoint me with your feeble abilities. The onlookers were stunned by the unexpected turn of events. One exclaimed, impossible. CFA couldn't even land a single blow on him. How is this possible? Emoing speculated, could it be that Lin Bei has awakened another heaven-level physique? Meanwhile, Rao Yu contemplated, CFA possesses the boundless purgatory body and wields power comparable to the second level of the pulse extension realm. Furthermore, heavenly physiques possess overwhelming suppression against ordinary warriors. Yet, he couldn't land a single blow. This kid truly is a monster. Then, a smirk curled across Rao Yu's lips as he entertained a devious thought. If Lin Bei truly has awakened a more potent heaven-level physique, wouldn't that opportunity rightfully belong to me? If I can seize it and harness its power for myself, even the Hall Master will favor me henceforth. Within the Demon Ceiling Hall, I would be inferior to none and superior to 10,000. With this ambition fueling him, Rao Yu stepped forward, emanating a formidable aura as he declared, You insolent boy, daring to stir up trouble here. Today, I will end your life. Meanwhile, Emma Ling Yun contemplated. What do I have to fear? Elder Rao is at the fifth level of the Pulse Extension Realm. No matter how formidable Lin Bei may be, he stands no chance against him. In the next instant, Rao Yu charged forward, unleashing a powerful strike aimed at Lin Bei. Despite Lin Bei's attempt to block the attack, he was overwhelmed by the immense pressure and forced backwards, blood staining his lips. He realized, the power of the fifth level of the Pulse Extension Realm. I can't withstand this pressure alone. Suddenly, CFA rose to his feet, urging Rao Yu, Elder Rao, don't kill him. I will personally tear him apart with a thousand blades to quench the fire of hatred in my heart. Rao Yu responded with a wry smile, I am well aware. Recognizing the dire circumstances, Lin Bei released Xiao Ji, stating, Little one, it's up to you. Rao Yu's gaze caught sight of the tiny chick, prompting him to realize, Oh, not good. Suddenly, his eyes widened in shock as the chick emitted a laser beam, piercing through his body and causing blood to gush from his mouth. A four-star magical beast. He murmured before collapsing. Witnessing the fatal outcome, Emo Ling Yun trembled in despair, muttering, It's over. Everything is lost. Lin Bei possesses a four-star magical beast. Emo Ling sneered, remarking, Elder Rao, indeed. CFA, too, wore a troubled expression. Elder Rao is dead. As Lin Bei extended his hand and lifted CFA into the air, he questioned, CFA, 
What was that you said? Planning to dismember me? CFA pleaded. Lin Bei, you've killed the elder of the demon ceiling hall. You can't kill me. Lin Bei sneered in response, oh. CFA continued to negotiate, I've ascended to become a core disciple of the demon ceiling hall. The hall master holds me in high regard. Moreover, my four brothers have all joined top sections. If you spare me, we can forget all of this ever happened. Lin Bei's lips curled into a sly smile as he replied, you make a compelling argument. I am truly moved. CFA urged, Lin Bei, release me now. I promise not to pursue any further actions against you. In the next moment, Lin Bei released his grip. CFA, seething with indignation, thought to himself, Lin Bei, when I return to the demon ceiling hall, I will ensure the hall master captures you alive to avenge today's humiliation. Lin Bei, his smile tinged with malice, questioned, CFA, do you still harbor the delusion that your hall master will absolve today's disgrace? CFA, taken aback, stuttered, Lin Bei, I. I never had such thoughts. With a mocking laugh, Lin Bei retorted, CFA, CFA, you are truly naive. From the moment your father stripped me of my abilities, you should have realized. I will never let you off the hook. With that declaration, he crushed CFA's heart, and CFA collapsed, meeting his demise. As CFA breathed his last, Emo Lingyun trembled in despair, muttering, It's all over. Approaching Emo Lingyun, Lin Bei inquired, Emo Lingyun, knowing the outcome today, why did you persist? Emo Lingyun seized Lin Bei's arm and pleaded, Lin Bei, I've invested years in your training. Please spare me. I'm willing to retreat to the mountains and live in seclusion just to survive. Lin Bei's smile widened as he proposed, Ha ha, confess your sins, and perhaps I'll spare your life? Emo Ling Yun's mind raced. Reputation means nothing, cultivation means nothing. As long as I can survive today, there's hope for redemption. With resolve, he agreed. It's a deal. In the following moment, Emo Ling Yun confessed to everyone present, everyone, the disaster that befell our Chu insect today was all caused by me. I regret it deeply. I regret it all. In my pursuit of future success, I didn't hesitate to frame my own best disciple. The other elders of the sect grimaced in dismay upon hearing Emo Ling Yun's admission. Emo Ling Yun continued, I ordered Emo Ing to secretly poison and seal Lin Bei's cultivation. And I instructed Xieping Xiu to strip Lin Bei of all his abilities. An elder erupted in anger, condemning Emo Ling Yun, I never expected you, Emo Ling Yun, to stoop so low, to be so shameless. Though I've long regarded you as a close friend, your despicable actions have shattered that trust. Xiong Patian, I have misjudged you. With heavy hearts, the elders departed, leaving only Emo Ling Yun, Emo Ing, and Lin Bei behind. Observing their departure, Lin Bei remarked, This group of people were quick to distance themselves from me. They wanted nothing to do with the repercussions. Emo Ing, feeling the weight of Lin Bei's gaze, raised her head to meet his eyes. Lin Bei addressed her sternly, Emo Ing. I've shown you genuine sincerity, yet you've disappointed me greatly. Interrupting from behind, Emo Ling Yun pleaded, Lin Bei. I've done as you asked. Can you spare me? Lin Bei turned to him, a cruel smile playing on his lips. Emo Ling Yun, did you think I would let you walk away unscathed? Fool. Emo Ling Yun trembled in disbelief. You. You don't keep your word. In the blink of an eye, Lin Bei charged forward and forcefully struck Emo Ling Yun's chest. Emo Ling Yun collapsed instantaneously. With a disdainful sneer, Lin Bei remarked, Being dishonest is a sin. But for creatures like you, leaving your body intact is the epitome of kindness and justice. Emo Ing shuddered at the sight, whispering, Father. Lin Bei turned his attention to her, stating, It's your turn. Unexpectedly, Emo Ing began to laugh maniacally, her tone filled with bitterness. Ha ha. We are all to blame for this. If I had finished you off that day, we wouldn't be facing this fate now. Lin Bei, even if you kill us, your days are numbered. By slaying CFA, you've drawn the ire of not only the Demon Ceiling Hall, but also countless other formidable factions. Ha! Huh. I'll be waiting for you in hell. Before she could finish, Lin Bei swiftly silenced her with a fatal blow. He sneered in response, Humph. Emo Ing may have a point, he mused to himself. The road ahead may indeed be fraught with challenges but every trial will only serve to strengthen me. I, Lin Bei, am destined to reign supreme in this world. Meanwhile, Xiao Ji observed Lin Bei with a mix of skepticism and curiosity. 
A mere child in the pulse extension realm dares to boast so arrogantly, he thought. But I'll wait and see just how far you can go. Later, at the demon ceiling hall, the imposing figure seated on the throne chuckled heartily. Ha ha ha. Sekmaster Xie, please, have a seat. No need to stand on ceremony. Xie Pingxiu hesitated, responding, No, no, I'm fine standing. The figure on the throne, none other than Heavenly Master Tu, the lord of the demon ceiling hall, waved off Xie Pingxiu's reservations. Sekmaster Xie, you're too formal. Since CFA has pledged allegiance to me in the Demon Ceiling Hall, we're like family. There's no need for such formality. Please, sit. Xie Pingxiu acquiesced, expressing his gratitude to Heavenly Master Tu for the gesture. Just then, a messenger rushed in, calling out, report. He swiftly made his way past Xie Pingxiu and approached Heavenly Master Tu, whispering urgently, Heavenly Master. Heavenly Master Tu paused, indicating to Xie Pingxiu to wait before turning his attention to the messenger. What news do you bring? Xia inquired. The messenger delivered the grave message. Lin Bei of the Chuyun sect has returned. He infiltrated the Chuyun sect and executed Mo Ling Yun and Mo Ing. Xia Pingxiu's expression darkened in disbelief. Lin Bei, that's impossible. Heavenly Master Tu continued solemnly. Not only that, your son, Xia Fei, has also perished. We've also lost an elder from the Demon Ceiling Hall. Xie Pingxiu couldn't comprehend the news. How could this be? Elder Rao was at the fifth level of the Pulse Extension Realm. How could he? Heavenly Master Tu remarked, It appears that Lin Bei harbors a significant secret. Sect Master Xie, you will not withhold any information from us, will you? Xie Pingxiu adamantly declared, Absolutely not. Fixing him with a stern gaze, Heavenly Master Tu commanded, Elder Zhao. At that moment, a young woman entered and respectfully addressed Heavenly Master Tu, Hall Master. Heavenly Master Tu instructed her firmly, This Lin Bei deserves death for killing my elder and a core disciple of the Demon Ceiling Hall. Bring him here. The girl nodded in acknowledgement. Yes. Heavenly Master Tu chuckled. Such a shame. Losing the boundless purgatory body is regrettable. Xie Pingxiu seethed with anger, grinding his teeth. Lin Bei, you and I are now sworn enemies. Meanwhile, at the Chuyun sect, Lin Bei reflected, all the treasures of heaven and earth that Imo Ling Yun, that old dog, amassed over the years, now belong to me. What's even more astonishing is the discovery of two three-star demon cores among them. With their refinement, I may be able to break through to the third level of the pulse extension realm. Observing Lin Bei's enthusiasm, Xiao Ji pondered, you treasure such trivial scraps. He continued his musings, I recall in my heavenly palace, countless heavenly treasures adorned several rooms. I reminisce about lounging on a top-grade amethyst and white jade bed, indulging in the consumption of top-grade elixirs. Then, Lin Bei turned to Xiao Ji and offered him an elixir, saying, Here you go. This is a token of appreciation for all your help. Xiao Ji glanced at the elixir and thought, long ranked low-grade. Even a dog wouldn't touch it. Despite his reservations, he reluctantly accepted it thinking, well, it's better than nothing. Meanwhile, Lin Bei believed Xiao Ji must have been moved by the gesture. Without further delay, Lin Bei seized Xiao Ji and exclaimed, let's go. Exiting the Chuyin sect, Lin Bei contemplated, when I set out on my path of revenge, I intended to wipe out not only the sect members but every living being, from plants to animals. I would have shaken off even a yoke if it had stood in my way. Conversely, Xiao Ji reflected, you're too soft-hearted kid. Not only did you spare them, but you also left the entire Chu Yun sect standing. As he spoke, the entire Chu Yun sect erupted in a massive explosion. What a cunning kid. Half a month later, at the eastern Xinjiang border, Lin Bei led the way, leaning on the bull while accompanied by dozens of villagers. The village elder beamed with pride, remarking, Chief Lin Bei, our group is growing stronger by the day. Lin Bei nodded, smiling inwardly as he contemplated, I never expected to flee with a group of common people. The old man declared, Young master, from now on, you will be our village chief. The old lady chimed in, But bringing us along will only slow you down. The old man chuckled, Ha ha. No need to worry. Our new village chief is formidable. Lin Bei couldn't help but sigh. However, the sheer number of people involved also highlights the extent of suffering endured by the people in the eastern territories due to the tyranny of the Chuyun sect. Once we pass this desert, 
We'll reach the southern territories. We can plan our next steps after settling down there. The old man reported, village chief, as per your request, we've identified approximately 120 young individuals capable of cultivation during our journey. I have already taught them the Qingnyo body refining art. Lin Bei nodded in approval. Hmm. While the Qingnyo body refining art is a basic technique, it will suffice to allow them to reach the first stage of qi awakening. It's a solid start on the path of martial arts. The old man proposed, considering our current numbers, the village chief, it may be worth establishing a sect in the southern territories. Lin Bei pondered the idea. Establish a sect, hmm. Meanwhile, not far away, disciples of the Demon Sealing Hall plotted. According to intelligence reports, Lin Bei is sure to pass through this area. When he does, we'll capture him and present him to the Demon Sealing Hall. The one wearing a cap added eagerly, then it will be a good day for us, brothers. The girl was also among them, chuckling to herself. The old man informed Lin Bei, sect master, there's a crescent moon spring ahead where we can take a short rest. Upon hearing this, Lin Bei reflected, so he's quickly started calling me sect master now. He then replied, good, let's rest there for a while. Meanwhile, the assassins observed them from a distance, perplexed. What's going on? Why did Lin Bei bring so many people? The one with the hat exclaimed, oh no, did he take the entire Chu and sect with him? The girl rebuked them, you idiots, take a closer look. Aside from the old, weak, sick, and disabled, there are only some ordinary able-bodied individuals. They're not worth worrying about. Lin Bei spotted them and smirked. These people have already received intel. Unfortunately, they are nothing more than a group of insignificant individuals. Stepping forward, he announced, I'll go deal with it. The old man cautioned, Sect Master, be careful. From the cliff, a man pointed and shouted, Lin Bei, you had the path to heaven, yet you refused to take it, and instead, you've barged into hell. You deserve to die for offending the demon ceiling hall. Today, we will capture you. Lin Bei responded with a confident smile. Come at me. The assassins charged forward, shouting, Brothers, attack. Glory and wealth are right in front of us. Lin Bei sighed. They charged with a powerful blow, but Lin Bei countered with a single swift strike, unleashing a blue wave that triggered a massive explosion, leaving everyone incapacitated in an instant. The girl glanced at him before assuming a defensive stance. The old man spoke, Sect Master, throughout our journey, numerous attempts have been made to capture you, yet none could withstand even a single punch from you. Lin Bei replied, they are merely foolish individuals, deluding themselves with notions of power. The old man continued, yet, it's curious that neither the Demon Sealing Hall nor the Yaodian sect have pursued us. Agreeing, Lin Bei nodded. True. Once we pass this oasis, we'll be in the southern territories. We needn't worry excessively, sect master. Lin Bei gestured, yes. Then he directed, ensure everyone rests here. We shall swiftly proceed into the southern territories. The three were soon captured. Deep in thought, Lin Bei sat cross-legged, pondering, perhaps. I truly can establish a sect? As Lin Bei contemplated, his focus was abruptly disrupted as the girl lunged from behind, pressing a dagger against his back, cautioning, Lin Bei, don't move. She remarked, indeed, you're just a naive and inexperienced kid, utterly defenseless. Lin Bei inquired, who are you? The girl introduced herself, I'm Xiao Qing, an elder of the Demon Sealing Hall. I'm aware of the powerful demon beast by your side. However, if you dare to make a move from this distance, I'm confident I can kill you instantly. Lin Bei remarked, if you intended to kill me, you would have acted already. What is your true purpose? Surely, it's not just conversation. Zhao Qing chuckled, you're astute. It's simple, I seek your constitution. Lin Bei questioned, Aren't you concerned about reprisal from the Demon Sealing Hall for taking my constitution? Zhao Qing replied, Even if I face retaliation, the acquisition of your constitution outweighs any fear. But you, young man, are truly exceptional. Possessing five heavenly level constitutions, and even if they're taken, you can awaken new ones. Perhaps that's the essence of genius. Unfortunately, you will once again become powerless, she declared, charging her hand and striking his back chanting demonic spells to seize his constitution. Lin Bei turned, retorting, Unfortunately, it's you who will be powerless. With that, he released immense pressure, sending Zhao Qing flying back. As she regained her footing, 
She was astonished. You've reached the fourth stage of vein expansion. This is truly formidable. I've cultivated for over 30 years and only reached the sixth stage, yet you've achieved it in such a short time. Lin Bei strode forward, exuding a menacing aura. I told you, I'm a genius. As Zhao Qing grasped the gravity of the situation, she hastily retreated, realizing her mistake. I miscalculated. Retreat. But her escape didn't go unnoticed. Xiao Ji intercepted her path, blocking her way. Zhao Qing trembled in fear. Ah. In an instant, Xiao Ji unleashed fiery spirit flames from his mouth, reducing Zhao Qing to ashes. With a disdainful snort, Xiao Ji returned, muttering, disturbing my slumber for such trifles. Bah. Simultaneously, a massive explosion echoed in the distance. The old man and others arrived, concerned. Village chief, what's happening? Lin Bei reassured them, it's a minor issue, nothing to fret about. Everyone, gather your belongings and prepare to depart. The old man nodded in understanding. Very well. Later, in Qishui City, within the southern territories. A grin spread across the old man's face. Ha ha. At long last, we've arrived. Lin Bei couldn't shake a feeling of unease. Something feels off, doesn't it? As the residents of Qishui City hurriedly loaded their belongings, the old man approached one of them. Excuse me, I've noticed many people hastily leaving the city. Has something occurred? The man scrutinized him. Are you seeking refuge from afar? The old man nodded in confirmation. The man's expression turned grave. You've come to the wrong place. I advise you to depart swiftly. Perplexed, the old man pressed. What precisely is unfolding in the city? The man explained. Recently, a group of bandits invaded Chishue City, unleashing chaos, pillaging, killing, and looting without mercy. They even slew the city's lord upon arrival. Currently, panic grips the populace, fearing they may be the next victims. Lin Bei inquired further, what were the cultivation levels of the city's lord and the bandit leader? The man replied, the lord was reportedly at the second stage of vein expansion, yet he fell to the bandits in just three moves. As for the bandit leader, it's estimated he's reached at least the fourth stage of vein expansion. Trust me, it's in your best interest to depart swiftly. With a nod, the man proceeded ahead. Turning to Lin Bei, the old man asked, Village chief, what about us? Lin Bei remained composed. If the leader is only at the fourth stage of vein expansion, there's no cause for concern. Let's proceed. We'll confront these bandits. As they entered the city, Lin Bei contemplated, Chishue City is not insignificant. If we can claim it as our own and establish it as our stronghold, it wouldn't be a bad prospect. Inside the Lord's Mansion in Chishue City The figure seated on the throne inquired, Are you suggesting that the commoners of the city are in a state of panic and fleeing? The bald man responded, Leader, I share your sentiment. The people of Chishue City are acting foolishly. That former lord of Chishue City was a tyrant, and our actions were merely in pursuit of justice on behalf of the heavens. Yet they treat us like malevolent spirits, which enrages me. The girl let out a sigh of exasperation. Just then, a person burst in, shouting, Chief, a large number of fleeing people are converging outside. The girl rose from her seat, asking eagerly, truly. The messenger nodded emphatically. Indeed. Where are they? She pressed. At the inn, he informed her. Everyone, come with me to meet them, she urged. Meanwhile, at the inn, a person advised, young master, I strongly recommend leaving as soon as possible. Chishue City is not conducive for long-term residents. Lin Bei reassured him, no need to worry, just serve some food promptly. The person left, visibly dissatisfied. Suddenly, a commotion erupted outside as a group approached at furious speed. Upon sensing their arrival, the person frowned, it's those bandits. Lin Bei's lips curled into a smirk. They've arrived sooner than expected. The old man attempted to intervene, village chief. But Lin Bei stepped out confidently, assuring him, no problem. As Lin Bei stepped forward to confront the bandits, their leader inquired, are you the one seeking refuge? Lin Bei affirmed, indeed. She dismounted and immediately embraced him, exclaiming, you're such a kind soul. Witnessing this, the other bandits expressed their confusion. I don't know her. I don't know her. I don't know her. Lin Bei gently pushed her away. If you have something to say, say it properly. Clearing her throat, the girl suggested, 
This isn't the appropriate place for discussion. Let's go inside and talk. Once inside, she offered, Since you're refugees, you're welcome to stay in Chishue City from now on. My men will assist in settling the people you've brought. Lin Bei questioned, Aren't you afraid that I might be a sinister individual? The girl retorted, Humph. If I can capture Chishue City, I can surely defend it. Lin Bei pressed further, What if I've offended the demon ceiling hall? Upon hearing this, the other bandits trembled. The demon ceiling hall? You've offended them. Lin Bei affirmed, Yes, I've slain a core disciple and an elder of the demon ceiling hall. The girl reassured him, The demon ceiling hall is in eastern Xinjiang, while we're in the south. Their influence doesn't extend here. I can handle it. Lin Bei raised an eyebrow. Oh, in that case, what if we include the Burning Sun sect, Inla Sword sect, Nishue Hall, and Tianao sect? The girl's expression shifted gradually. The Burning Sun sect and the Tiandao sect are situated in northern Xinjiang, while the Endless Sword sect and Nishue Hall are in western Xinjiang. Lin Bei chuckled. Let me reiterate, this is southern Xinjiang. Standing up from his seat, Lin Bei remarked, Unexpectedly, you're quite audacious. With a swift maneuver, he incapacitated them all with a sneak attack, causing them to faint instantly. Observing the scene, the old man arrived from behind. Village chief, what's? Lin Bei reassured him, they're merely frightened. Arrange for some people to carry them away. We're heading to the city lord's mansion. The old man nodded in agreement. Understood. As they were being escorted out, onlookers expressed surprise. We thought they were in control, but it's turned into chaos. The girl by Lin Bei's side sighed. Indeed, Chishui City is far too perilous. I must flee as soon as possible. Meanwhile, at the Demon Ceiling Hall, the Heavenly Leader too addressed the gathering, stating, Everyone, Elder Zhao has made a grave mistake. Elder Rao is now deceased, and Elder Zhao has been severely punished. What are your thoughts on this matter? A young disciple chimed in, There must be a significant secret concealed within Lin Bei. Otherwise, Elder Zhao would never have overlooked it. But now that Lin Bei has settled in the south, our intervention may be complicated. Furthermore, the four-border competition is imminent. Heavenly Leader 2 agreed. Indeed, the four-border competition approaches, yet we have lost the boundless purgatory body. However, the Burning Sun sect, Tiandao sect, Inla Sword sect, and Nishue Hall all possess disciples with celestial physiques. As for Lin Bei, we need to reassess our approach. He instructed, everyone, intensify the training of your disciples. Despite setbacks, we must still participate in the four-border competition. With a dismissive wave, the heavenly leader too stepped down and approached. His eyes glinted with anger as he exclaimed, I am infuriated, absolutely furious. You are all useless, worthless trash. What purpose do you serve? He vented his frustration. We couldn't even retrieve the leader of a small sect like Lin Bei. At he, this four territories grand competition is doomed, utterly doomed. On the other hand, at the Rao Tian sect main hall. Xie Pingxiu inquired, have the messages been sent? The disciple confirmed, they have been dispatched to the four young masters. Xie Pingxiu nodded grimly. Very well. I shall personally tear Lin Bei apart and exact vengeance. Fortunately, I still have four capable children, he he. The disciple then presented the replies. Master, we have received responses, but you should read them yourself. With that, he handed over the letters. Upon reading the letters, Xie Pingxiu's body trembled and blood spurted from his mouth. One letter read, Father, the Four Territories Grand Competition draws near. I will focus on cultivation and seek opportunities for our sect. I will avenge Fifth Brother. As the girl with the eye patch slowly regained consciousness, her vision was hazy. Gradually, it cleared, and she observed the bald man lying beside her. She rose abruptly, clutching her head. Ah, it felt like a nightmare. The other person chimed in, we experienced it too. Their attention then shifted as they noticed others awakening around them. That dream was too horrifying. I told you, how could someone provoke the demon ceiling hall, the sunfire sect, the heavenly blade gate, and other factions consecutively? The other person nodded in agreement. You're right. Suddenly, she realized and exclaimed, it wasn't a dream. Everyone's expressions darkened upon hearing this. At that moment, Lin Bei entered, inquiring, are you all awake? 
He proceeded to stride forward and take a seat on the throne. Our meeting seems to be fate. Henceforth, you will follow me. Any objections? The girl hesitated before asking with a forced smile, Um, can I choose to leave? Lin Bei responded coolly, Certainly, you may leave, but you'll have to do so lying down. As they prepared to depart, they froze at his words. Desperate, the girl pleaded, Can't we discuss this further? Lin Bei remained resolute. No, we cannot. The girl sobbed inwardly, lamenting, Why am I so unlucky? Why must I encounter such a disaster? Lin Bei changed the subject, asking, as I am new to the southern region, inform me about the situation here. The girl sighed heavily before replying, the southern region. Just then, the old man burst in, exclaiming, Master, something terrible has occurred. There's someone outside claiming to be an envoy from the Liangyi Hall, requesting an audience with you. 